Hi, I'm Mansi. Hi, I'm Danny. Here are the top 10 education stories of the week. To combat cybercrime, Maharashtra Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis launched India's first crime criminal tracking network system. It was flagged off by the Chief Minister through 42 cyber labs inaugurated simultaneously. An Australian woman, Samantha Gash, will run 3800 kilometers within India to fund education for poor. She will start in Jaisalmer on August 22nd to conclude it in Meghalaya. It will be a period of 76 days. Fighting against all odds, an 11-year-old boy from Bhubaneswar slum area has been selected by Bayern Munich, a renowned German football club. Delhi University has released the seventh cutoff list on their official website. The previous cutoff list was released on August 20 for the unfilled 6,500 seats. Karnataka government will receive rupees 3,000 crore from the World Bank to improve facilities in various state universities and colleges. As per the report provided by the IITs, over 2,000 students have dropped out of IITs and IIMs in the last two years. According to a report by Bloomberg, Bill Gates has reached a record high of his net worth, reaching a whooping 90 billion US dollars. The recent report by the Associated Chambers of Commerce of India has claimed that India is the third largest tech startup hub in the world. The United States and United Kingdom are positioned on the first and second place respectively. The HRD Ministry is working on a new education policy which will push for quality education across various universities and schools. Rio Olympic 2016 concluded on Monday. The three-hour-long closing ceremony presented Brazil's various art forms. By the end of the competition, India's tally was one silver medal backed by PV Sindhu and one bronze medal by Sakshi Malik. Stay tuned for weekly roundups every Friday.